Moving on to wave folders, we can think of these as additive in nature. This isn't additive synthesis, but we're adding and creating new harmonics based on the input signal, which we can think of as additive in the nature of its processing. And this will play into a West Coast synthesis style. Again, we'll be discussing this and the different approaches to synthesis later in the course. With wave folding, we can take something very simple and clean like a sine wave that has no harmonic content, just a fundamental note, and add harmonics by folding the wave back on itself. So what does a wave folder actually do? Well, it does as the name suggests, it folds the waveform. Most of us will be familiar with the idea of a peak signal level, which acts as a ceiling for the amount of signal we can have present in any given device or piece of software. Think about a mixing desk. As you turn up the gain on the preamps on a mixing desk channel, you can push this too far and the signal clips. The same goes for working with levels within software and on things such as effects devices. You can simply send too much signal to its input and that will clip and distort often unpleasantly. But a wave folder, rather than simply clipping, starts to work as the signal reaches this maximum. Instead of clipping the waveform, as it reaches the peak values in the circuit, it starts to fold the wave back on itself. We'll explore wave folders first and then wave shapers, starting with a wave folding and we'll be using the Sputnik modular dual oscillator with a built-in wave folder. Here it's labelled the Tornbra Control. Let's take a listen to that and check out the waveform on the scope. Starting with a wave folder or Tornbra Control all the way down, we can see and hear a simple sine wave. This is already slightly squared off. Turning up the Tornbra Control will introduce the wave folding. Backing that off and slowly introducing the wave folding, we first see the wave from square off and clip at the top, and that'll start to look more like a square wave. But as we push that further, we can see it start to fold back on itself. Like most things within the Yoro rack format, this is something we can modulate with control voltage. Let's add an envelope to the CV input on the Tombra control to create some modulating wave folded tones. So that was the wave folder built into the oscillator from Sputnik Modular.